So what happens in Leon Yaris's novel, The Hajj? So first, the Arabs are living in this town called Shemesh, and eventually though they're attacked by the Jews who are trying to live in this town in the country of Palestine and take it over and make it again a home for them. But the Arabs try and Arabs in response to that after they're taken out of the town, trying to build up an army, uh, well, massacre a bunch of people at some point uh, to retake the town. The Arabs, in the justification of their actions, think that the Muslims are superior to the Jews in many uh, ways relevant to their faiths. Jews don't accept Jesus, Jews don't accept Muhammad, so not accepting either of those, the Muslims are going to attack them because they believe they are the rightful people in God's eyes. So the Arabs have conquered Taba, which originally was held by them, but was conquered by the Jewish people and they drove the Jews out. Uh, well, in Taba, there are a couple of Jews remaining, and one of them, Gideon, is sent outside the city, and when set outside the city, he goes to several places in the Arab world, including Damascus and Bangkok, and is treated uh, badly there. However, at this point in the novel, the, the Jews are being approved of coming to the land of Israel, which is Palestine, and declaring that a new nation. And of course, this upsets the people of Tabal, which are Arab, and they are not happy about what Gideon is happy about. So the Arabs eventually reached Taba, the village they were going after, and there they make an important decision between two religions. They claim that Muslims are the legitimate religion because Jews did not accept Jesus and Christians did not accept Muhammad. So essentially since Islam was the newest of the three religions, it was the greatest Abrahamic religion of them all. So at this point, the Jews have retaken Palestine for their own people. Palestine was considered largely to be a colony of the British rather than as an independent nation. But Israel is itself is trying to become an independent nation, but are a bit concerned with their own numbers. Their numbers are small compared to the Arabs surrounding them. However, the fact that Palestine would essentially be a colony to the Western world at this point. And the second thing is the Arabs are conflicting with one another for various things. These conflicts the Arabs have are basically causing them to not unify to protect Palestine. It's going to be either the state of Israel or a Western colony either way. A few days later, Jaffa fell to the Haganah and Irgun. On the Arab population of 70,000, only 3,000 remained when a final assault was made. On May 14, 1948, David Ben-Gurion reached the Declaration of Independence of the State of Israel. Within hours, the entire Arab world attacked. Now, the entire world does attack, and what's interesting about this is that the Arab worlds are finally one together in, a sim in their same mission, to get rid of the state of Israel. This is the first time the Arabs have actually wow. agreed one another enough to come together in the same military response. But this doesn't prevent the Jews from defending their own nation, and eventually they managed to get rid of all the Arab cultures, despite how different they were, they were together, and the Jews successfully got rid of them. So all the Arabs do become united in a way that they don't like the state of Israel and want to get rid of it. But there is something that kind of is uh, bad in the Palestinians' eyes. So. The idea is that the Palestinians get rid of 
the Palestinians have gotten rid of in the state of Israel and sent to Transjordan, the nation right by Israel's side. However, the Palestinians want to stay in their homeland and so don't want the offer of going to Jordan. So at this point in the novel, Ishmael is believed to have entered the first paradise where he meets Jesus. Jesus, when he is, when Ishmael asks him, is confirmed to believe that Islam is the major religion of the world, largely because the prophet Muhammad was the last prophet. So Jesus basically confirms that Islam is completely legitimate. The final report from the Committee for Democratic Unity came as an anticlimax. It was announced that the Jordanian parliament has passed a bill of national, national merger. A chorus of cheers arose from Abdullah's lackeys. This was followed by a democratic vote in which the conference approved the Greater Palestine by 970 to 20 votes. So at this point in the novel, the Jordanians are willing to incorporate Palestine, or at least the western parts of Palestine, into their own nation to create a Greater, pa greater Palestine. They do this, they try to encourage the Palestinians by offering the the following resolutions. Resolved. Arabs who remained in the Zionist entity have committed enormous sin. Such Arabs who carry passports of the Zionist entity will not be permitted to enter Arab nations. Resolved. Arabs who remained in the Zionist entity are leprous, leprous in nature and are forbidden to make the Hajj to Mecca and Medina. Resolved. Arabs who remained in the Zionist entity have been contaminated and are unfit to pray at the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock and will be forbidden entry. Resolved. Arabs who remained in the Zionist entity are treacherous at heart and cannot reuni reunite or otherwise visit members of their exiled families. So we've reached a point where virtually every Arab nation wants to help the Palestinians, but they want to do this all in different ways and even then have conflicts with one another that prevent them from helping the Palestinians in that they want to help. Boom. Egypt demands the southern Negev desert for security reasons. Jordan objects. Boom, boom. Syria demands the rest Western Galilee as an integral part of its Ottoman history. Lebanon objects. Boom, boom, boom. Jordan demands that its annexation of the West Bank be ratified. Everyone objects. Bong, 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 bong. Lebanon demands the annexation of Eastern Galilee. Syrian objects. Bong, 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 bong. Democratic dialogue, parliamentary procedures, point of order, instructions from my government, brotherhood, unity, pr protocol. Viable, considera viable considerations, the subcommittee of the subcommittee requires further study. Hundreds of play cards bearing Jamil's photographs were waved aloft along with other play cards holding slogans of the fledgling revolution. As Jamil was laid to rest in a place of honor in the mosque Courtyard, courtyard, the former leopards, now redeemed freedom fighters, shot volleys over his grave, and the priests swore vengeance on the Zionists who had killed the boy.
the first martyrdom of the Palestinians had come to pass. So the final bit of the book, we see the Arabs going after parts of Lebanon, Jordan, and Egypt to hold back the Israelis from taking all their land. And in that, they're somewhat successful to keep the nations of the border, but of course the Jews ultimately survive, and so don't cause so much of a threat to the region, but don't really solve anything. It's in this, though, that in the later parts of the novel, the last parts, Nada is seen acting against Ibrahim's idea that she was a virgin. She fully admits to having relations with Jordanian men and is not ashamed of it, but yet Nada dies later and we assume that's the result of what Ibrahim has done. Later, we see Ishmael saying a story of his wrongdoings and he says to Haji Ibrahim to kill him, and before Haji Ibrahim does, he suffers from a heart attack and dies there. Finally, to finish off the novel, we see Ibrahim going up a, a town of rocks, and we see people chasing after him, which he's been declared the new leader, and he eventually falls down from the rock, uh, the rock ledge, and we assume that he dies, though we're not told specifically. So what's this book trying to say about the Palestinians? So let's look at the people who've conquered Palestine for nearly 2,000 years. They've been the victim of basically many of the world countries and have really not formed their own state in over 2,000 years. Also, we have a bit of conflict over who rules what in the region. The Americans are siding with the Israelis and trying to help them create their own state. But the British, having ruled Palestine and Jordan for a century or two, they side with the Jordanians and want uh, basically the regions that are Palestine, West Bank, and Gaza Strip to be part of a Jordanian nation, which the Jordanians want to complete. But the Palestinians want their own nation independent of both parties. We who have tasted the sweetness of life must also taste its bitterness. But joy always follows sorrow, as the bird follow, follows, the, follows the wind. Sadness is only separated from joy by time, and the time has come to turn the page. But remember, my brothers, if we had not tasted bitterness, how would we appear appreciate sweetness? So what does what we just heard tell us? Well, it tells us that the Palestinians who believe they had just suffered will automatically get joy because joy and suffering are always one in the two and the same always occurs after the other. So they believe that joy will come next for them since they have experienced sadness. So in the last part of the novel we find the Arabs holding back the holding back Israel with Lebanon, Jordan and Egypt but they ultimately fail at getting Israel, which is ultimately what they want. So they in some ways succeeded and failed. But I also should say that although Ishmael is given the title of being the leader of people from Jaffa, Jerusalem, they, he does so under Islam's major problems. In 10, 20, 30 years, the world of Islam will begin to consume itself in madness. We cannot live with ourselves. We never have. We cannot live with or accommodate the outside world. We never have. We are incapable of change. The devil who makes us creeps is now, makes us crazy is now devouring us. We cannot stop ourselves.